Hello, and welcome to an evening celebrating the best of Canadian podcasting. It's a chance for our community to come together, honor each other's work, and give recognition where it's due. We've got a wealth of talent here tonight with over 100 nominees across 30 categories, creating content that connects us all. And your fellow Canadian podcasters have voted to recognize the best of you. So with the votes counted, let's go hand these awards out. Enjoy the show. Presenting outstanding debut for a series, Amanda Pereira. Remembering how special it felt to win this award last year, I am so thrilled to get to present the award for outstanding debut of a series to this year's winning podcast. Starting a podcast is hard, like really friggin' hard. So to all the nominees, congratulations on successfully launching your show and already standing out from the crowd. No matter what happens today, you can already call yourself an award-nominated podcaster. Pretty cool. All right, and the nominees are... Later That Same Life. Lullaby. Spencer Wants to Know. The Next Call. You Made Me Queer. And the winner is, You Made Me Queer. Wow, thank you so much for this. Uh, what a thrill to be nominated for Outstanding Debut. Who would have thought at my age I had anything left to debut? Uh, it feels like I'm coming out all over again. So thank you so much. This really means the world to me. Thank you, of course, to the Sonar Network, the Canadian Podcast Awards, and you for making me queer. Presenting Best Host in a Series, Michael Mangiardi. I always say that people don't follow podcasts, they follow hosts. Hosts are the personalities that keep people connected to the shows and keep audience coming back. And the nominees are... Paul Bates. Trevor Campbell. Mark Andre Carignan, Dane Miller, Alex Nursel, and the winner is Paul Bates. Hey everybody! Wow, thank you uh, for voting for me, uh, uh, and. Uh... Thanks for everyone who's listened to the podcast and a special thank you to everybody who's come on as a guest on the podcast. Hard to be a decent host without such amazing, funny and talented uh, people to come on and talk. Um, and a huge thank you to whoever uh, threw out the book uh, on which I've based my podcast. What a find. Presenting Outstanding Personal Series, Michelle Parise. My podcast, Alone, A Love Story, won this category in 2019. One of the best things about personal narrative podcasts is how they bring the listener in close. This category recognizes podcasters that do an outstanding job of making listeners feel part of their world. And the nominees are... Confessions of a New Grad. En privé, s'il vous plaît. Later, that same life. Remember this. You made me queer. And the winner is... You made me queer. Oh, gee, thank you so much. Outstanding personal series. I mean, I like to think that everything I do is uncomfortably personal. So winning this award feels like a, a natural extension of my brand. But seriously, thank you so much. Thank you, of course, to the lovely folks at the Sonar Network, Michael and Mariana et al. Thank you to the Canadian Podcast Awards. Um, thank you to anyone who has... Uh, 
ever done anything personal. All of you, personal people, this goes to the persons, uh, and I accept it in your behalf. Thank you. This is such an honor. I'm thrilled. Presenting Outstanding Documentary Series, Mike Brown. Hi, I'm Mike Brown, host and creator of the Dark Poutine Podcast. In 2020, our show won this category, Outstanding Documentary Series. So this year, I've been asked to announce the nominees as well as the winner. And the nominees are... 13 Hours. Au Valeur. Believe It or Not. Ce n'est qu'une théorie. Crime Beat. And the winner, believe it or not. Whoa, we did it. We won. What? What? what, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> documentary. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this. Uh, thank you, all of you. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, uh, the Sonar Network and uh, our dads. Yeah, and uh, thank you, Wikipedia, <laughs> for providing us with a lot of information that we use and uh, abuse for this documentary-style program. Yes, thank you so much, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Presenting Outstanding Indigenous Series, Jennifer Lanktree. This category celebrates podcasts produced by Indigenous people sharing their diverse stories and perspectives with the rest of the world to uplift and enhance Indigenous identities. And the nominees are... Media Indigena. Nation to Nation. Our Native Land. Still Here, Still Healing. Telling our twisted histories. And the winner is Our Native Land. Hey, Chad Asleo here from Our Native Land. Thank you so much for the award. I appreciate everybody who voted for Our Native Land for most outstanding Indigenous podcasts. It's been a lot of hard work and we're very happy to receive this award. I want to thank Czech TV, Czech Podcast and the Czech team for helping put this show together and thank all the listeners and viewers for watching the show. Presente de series francophone exceptionnel, Denis Perrault. Les finalistes dans la catégorie série exceptionnelle francophone sont les suivants. Faisez vos recherches. J'ai fait un humain. Les ficelles. Les pires moments de l'histoire. Relations toxiques. Et le gagnant est... Relations toxiques. Bonjour, je m'appelle Catherine Lavoie. Salut, moi c'est Yannick Chardonnay. On est les deux co-réalisateurs et co-producteurs du balado Relations toxiques, portrait d'une dépendance, qui est disponible sur Radio-Canada Audio. On est très honorés de gagner le meilleur balado francophone. On veut remercier le Conseil des arts et des lettres du Québec, sans quoi ça n'aurait pas été possible. On veut remercier Radio-Canada, plus particulièrement... Euh, Marc-Olivier Laramé, Catherine Vidal et Annie Reeves. Un immense merci aussi à nos collaborateurs Sophie Guérin, Marc Rémillard, Nicolas Riendé, Philippe Coulombe et Dominique Kennel. Et aussi un immense merci à Jean-Sébastien, Christian et Mélanie. Vos témoignages sont poignants, sont touchants. Merci pour votre générosité. Et un grand merci au Canadian Podcast Awards. On est vraiment honorés de gagner le prix du meilleur balado francophone. <rire> Presenting Outstanding Branded Series, Amber Mack. As a past winner in this category for This Is Mining, it's a real honor for me to present the award for Outstanding Branded Series, which celebrates exceptional audio production across any format created by or for brands 
with the aim of sharing brand values or promoting brand affinity. The nominees are CIBC Innovation Banking Podcast. Disruptors. Go the distance. What are we doing? Yes, we are open. And the winner is, what are we doing? Hi, I'm David Evans from the What Are We Doing podcast. I'm so excited to be accepting the Outstanding Branded Series Award. I'm so excited to be part of just the nominees of this award, and I'm so honored to be among these amazing podcasters. So congratulations to everyone who is nominated. I'm so honored to be nominated and to win this award. And I just want to thank the Aquatic Biosphere Project for all the support. Please check our project out. And yeah, let's keep these episodes coming. Create, keep creating great Canadian content. All right, see you later. Presenting Outstanding Foreign Series, Cynthia Kiss and Juicebox. Hello, I'm definitely Trixie Mattel. And I'm 100% Katya. And definitely we- not Juicebox and Cynthia Kiss. No, 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 no. No, no, no. But we definitely did win the Foreign Award for the Canadian Podcast Awards last year in 2021. And we're here to present the nominees for the Foreign Podcast Award for 2022. Do you know the nominees? Of course I do. First, we have... Behind the Bastards. Chameleon. Famous this week. My brother, my brother, and me. Player, player. And the winner is... Famous this week with Priyanka. (laughs) I'm a winner, baby. (laughs) Hi, everyone. It's me, Priyanka. I'm sitting at home, and I just found out that I am the winner of this amazing and incredible award, which is, wow, this is exactly where I record the podcast, actually, right now here. Um, Doing Famous This Week every week during some of the busiest moments in my life has been a really tough, tough thing to do. It's really funny, once you start podcasting a lot, you understand that there's a whole different kind of audience out there that just like to listen to your voice and listen to your stories and get to know you in a more intimate way. And this award is for all the amazing and incredible motherfucking fans out there who have just listened to me talk shit about nothing. This podcast started with Brooklyn Heights and then she left me high and dry like every other white person in my life. And now... It's just us. So thank you for this beautiful award. I love you so much, everybody. And thank you. Uh, just thank you. Wow. Do I get like a plot? Can I put on my, on my mantle? Ah! Okay, I love you all. Bye. Segments filmed with the help of Astrolab Studios. Presenting Outstanding Adult Series, Andrew Gerza. I'm here to present the nominees for Outstanding Adult Series, and here's a little bit about this category. NSFW, but might help you DTR. Podcasts in this category bring a new level of meaning to the intimacy of audio. Exploring the gamut of relationships and sexuality topics, we're looking for the podcasts that open up the conversation and bring the best in mature content. And the nominees are... Fuck Buddies. Meet the Kramers. Positively Positive Podcast. Teach Me How to Adult. The Venus Cuckoldress Podcast. And the winner is Fuck Buddies. Hello, I am Dane Miller. And I'm Niall Spain. And we're your Fuck Buddies. It's an honor to win Outstanding Adults. No, no, no. It's Outstanding Adult Podcast. 
We, oh, okay. Well, you know what? That's pretty great too. So uh, winning Outstanding Adult Podcast, uh, we really, we appreciate it. We've been doing this uh, for all you guys and uh, we really appreciate everyone who voted for us. It's nice to know that everyone saying that we couldn't be successful making dick jokes on the internet. Uh, this is for you. Yeah. You proved you wrong. Proved you wrong. Take that, Mr. McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Presenting Outstanding Arts Series, Richard Eden and Reed Vanier. The Outstanding Arts Series category celebrates the very best in arts coverage podcasting. These podcasts explore a vast gamut of human creation, from literature to visual art, theater, dance, design, and more, from the mainstream to the experimental. And the nominees are... Bites and Bits. Getting Lit with Linda. Makeshift Story. Putting it together. Tales from the Bridge. And the winner is Bites and Bits. Thank you so much for this award. We are so honored to win. Uh, we are so lucky that week after week we get to sit down and have a delicious meal with some of our favorite people, uh, chat about the food, uh, dissect all of its flavors and textures. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a dream come true. And I must shout out uh, a few special people. We have a small but mighty team. Of course, our incredible hosts, uh, Hisham Kaladi and Matt Malant. Uh, the person who makes all of our music and does all the edits, uh, the real tough work, Ryan Sheedy, and our segment writer, Tony Hall. We also could not have done this without the Sonar Network and the Canadian Podcast Awards. Thank you so much. Presenting Outstanding Business Series, Sara Mochtahadzadeh. The Outstanding Business Series category recognizes work that delves into a range of topics, from startups to commerce to the people who power our economy, workers. And the nominees are... Disruptors. Making a Living Show. More Than Social Podcast. Waves Social Podcast. Yes, we are open. And the winner is... Yes, we are open. Wow, what a great honor this is. Thank you so much for those who voted for Yes, We Are Open podcast for Outstanding Business Series. None of this would have been possible without the leadership and support of my team at Monero. So a quick thanks goes to Dury, Amy, and Rick for their leadership and belief in my little idea. Uh, thanks to the rest of the Monero's team for all their help and support. It really takes a village. But most of all, a huge shout out to all the small businesses that I visited that took the time and trusted me to tell their stories. Each and every one of you can be an inspiration to new entrepreneurs looking to do the same. So I thank you all and thanks again for this award. Presenting Outstanding Comedy Series, Michael Mangiardi. We've all had a pretty tough couple of years, and comedy is exactly what the world needs, and it's an honor to be presenting this award. And the nominees are... Bites and Bits. Dr. DC Podcast. Killed to Death. Taggart and Torrance. The Smile Syndicate Music Hour. And the winner is Dr. DC Podcast. What are you? What are you? That's really aggressive. What are you writing? Can you believe they're going to give the comedy awards to a better, funnier podcast? Dr. DC won. What? 
proudly student and listener supported community radio. CIUT 89.5 FM, celebrating 35 years as the sound of your city. Presenting Outstanding Education Series, Erin Pym. I am here to announce the Canadian Podcast Award for Outstanding Education Series. The category that educates as well as titillates. I mean titillate your ears, people. Get your mind out of the gutter. And the nominees are Fuck Buddies, Getting Lit with Linda, Our Fake History, Spencer Wants to Know, Teach Me How to Adult. Getting Lit with Linda. Thank you to the Canadian Podcast Awards for this prize in the Outstanding Education Series. I want to recognize all the other nominees in this category, my wonderful producer, Marco Timpano, all the writers across Canada who participated in various episodes, and of course, the listeners, with whom I'm happiest when we're learning to love literature together, one book at a time. Thank you very much. Presenting Outstanding Fiction Series, Emily Kellogg and Alex Nursel. Hi, I'm Emily Kellogg from Parkdale Haunt. And I'm Alex Nursel, also from Parkdale Haunt. And we have the honor of presenting the Outstanding Fiction Series Award this year. So this award recognizes everything that it takes to create amazing audio fiction. And it takes a lot, directing, performing, producing, writing, sound design, music, craft services, hair and makeup, the whole thing. And the nominees are... Malevolent. On a dark, cold night. Makeshift Stories. Real, Legitimate Anthology. Tavern Tales Jr. And the winner is... On a dark, cold night. I have lots of thank yous to go out for this honor. Uh, my family, my friends, my fiance for your support. To the Sonar Network for everything you do for me and for so many Canadian podcasters. To the Canadian Podcast Awards for bringing community to something that can often feel like a very solitary venture. But most of all to my listeners for staying with me, journeying with me, transforming with me. And congratulations to all the nominees in the fiction category and everyone out there making fiction. Thank you all for sharing your vision, your reality with the world and for allowing us into it. Presenting Outstanding Health and Fitness Series, Alana Johnston. The health and wellness category is all about nutrition, fitness, meditation, mindfulness, anything that can help improve the wellness and well-being of our listeners. And the nominees are Behind the Breakthrough. Fuck Buddies. Loving Goliath. Positively Positive Podcast. Psych Ed. And the award goes to Positively Positive Podcast. Thank you for the votes and the nomination in the health and fitness category. I talk about sexual health and whether we like it or not, no matter if it's awkward or not, that is a huge part of our physical well-being. It is a massive part of our mental health, having healthy boundaries, communication, information about our sexual health. So I'm really proud to be nominated in this category. 
And thank you for appreciating the tools and the communication that I'm putting out into the world, because uh, I think it's really important. And yeah, thank you. Presenting Outstanding Kids and Family Series, Karen Unland and Elizabeth Spencer. We have the great honor of presenting the award for Outstanding Kids and Family Series. This category recognizes shows that cater to younger listeners, as well as podcasts that explore the nuances of parenthood. And the nominees are... 1923 Main Street. 40 Weeks to Forever. Super Awesome Science Show. The Story Store. Warrior Kids Podcast. And the winner is... 1923 Main Street. Thank you so much, everyone. I have to be honest, we never expected this. I have to agree with that. We just want to say thank you, especially to everyone who listens to the show. You know, when we started this, it was just because we love talking about Disney travel and we were so happy to get such a following. And this really is just the magic on top of the ice cream. So it means so much to us. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a magical day. Bye-bye. Winners will receive a one-year license for Hindenburg's Journalist Pro, courtesy of Hindenburg. Presenting Outstanding Leisure Series, John Robertson. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was the dragon who did it. I should have seen it coming. Hello, hello, everyone. I am Johnny Robertson. I am the host and DM of the Diecast podcast, and I am here to present the Canadian Podcasting Award for Best Leisure Series. Now, leisure is something we use to escape, especially given the circumstances of today, and we also use it to have fun and relax. It can be anything from talking sports to gaming to creating new adventures by throwing some math rocks with your best friends. So without further ado, the nominees are Cyberpunk Independence, Dungeons and Dragons, Left Behind Game Club, Quantum Kickflip, The Pickup. And the winner is The Pickup. We are absolutely thrilled to be this year's winner of the Leisure Series in the Canadian Podcast Awards. We want to thank Michael and Mariana at the Sonar Network. And of course, all the listeners and everyone who voted. And thank you again for supporting women's basketball. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks. Presenting Outstanding Music Series, John Lashinsky. For this category, we're interested in podcasts that engage with artists and fans and explore the lives and artistry of our musical heroes. Everything from interviews to historical analysis, these shows take the listener on a journey through the world of music. And the nominees are... Behind the Christmas Hits. Ongoing history of new music. The Heavy. The Sound Podcast. The Walrus was Paul. And the winner is... The Walrus was Paul. Hey, thank you so much for this honor. It really was unexpected and it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, I would particularly take pride in the fact that this is a podcast that's done by 
a one man band and that band is me. And it's my first entry into the podcasting world. So it's really satisfying to be recognized. So thank you very much for that. Thank you to each and every artist and musician who appeared on the podcast and shared their time and told their great stories. And especially thanks to the Beatles for making all of that great music that we're still talking about all these years later. Again, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Presenting Outstanding News and Current Affairs Series, Dave Cornway. The Canadian Podcast Awards Outstanding News and Current Affairs Series Award recognizes excellence in reporting and coverage of world events. Outstanding shows in this category educate listeners on matters crucial to our understanding of the world we live in and our part in forming it. And the nominees are... 13 Hours... Canadian History X, Front Burner, Kootenai Time, and Speaking Municipally. And the winner is Front Burner. Hey everybody, Jamie Poisson here, host of Front Burner. Thank you so much for this award. This is such a wonderful honor. It's very cool to be nominated and just really, we're so delighted uh, to win this. We have such an awesome team and we love what we do. And uh, it's such a pleasure to be able to do it every day. So thank you so much and uh, have a great night. Podnews.net is a short newsletter every weekday with everything you need to know about podcasting and on demand. You can subscribe free at podnews.net for new podcast launches, company changes, stats, and no waffle. In fact, podnews.net is so waffle free it's really short, just like this promo. Presenting Outstanding Science Series, Veronique Moran. We were truly honored last year to win the Outstanding Science Series Award in 2021, which aims to um, recognize the best in the science podcast that has for mission to educate listeners or um, make science fun for all listeners of all ages and all fields of science from the infinitely small to the infinite universe. The uh, podcast is this category is open to all shows in any format or style that share the wonders of the scientific real. And now it's my pleasure to present to you the nominees of the 2022 Outstanding Science Series. Anthropomania. Behind the Breakthrough. Songbirding. This is mining. What are we doing? And the winner is Behind the Breakthrough. We are overwhelmed with gratitude to have been selected to receive the Canadian Podcast Award in the category of Outstanding Science Series. Thank you all so much for supporting our initiatives. We are honored to have our work and the work of so many individuals at University Health Network recognized with this award. Science matters. We are honored with the privilege of being able to share the voices of UHN's world-class researchers who every day search for cures and better treatments in hopes of improving lives of patients everywhere. Presenting Outstanding Society and Culture Series, Josiah Sinanen. Outstanding Society and Culture Series. This award is awarded to the show that excels at providing listeners with valuable insight into our established beliefs and behaviors and brings us closer together by doing so. And the nominees are Believe It or Not, Canadian History X, 
history of the 90s. Later that same life. Relation toxic. And the winner is history of the 90s. Thanks so much for this award. It is greatly appreciated. And thanks to the Canadian Podcast Awards for all of the work that you do supporting this community. And of course, my show would be nothing without my great team, Dila Velasquez and Rob Johnston. So thanks to them as well. PodCamp Toronto is back. Come celebrate our 15th year, February 24th through 26th at Toronto Metropolitan University. Presenting Outstanding Sports Series, Jennifer Langtree. Podcasts in this category give listeners a way to stay informed about their favorite sport, get inside the game, and learn what happens off the field. And the nominees are Second and Out CFL Podcast, Below the Hardwood, Book It Vince, Scuderia F1, The Pickup Podcast. And the winner is the Pickup Podcast. So we are thrilled to be the winners of this year's sports series in the Canadian Podcast Awards. We want to thank Michael and Mariana at the Sonar Network. And of course, everyone who's been listening and everyone who took the time to vote. And thank you again for supporting women's basketball. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, folks. Presenting Outstanding Technology Series, John Lashinsky. As technology continues to reinvent everything, podcasts in this category provide listeners with the context and expertise they need to navigate these shifting sands. Whether it's how to use technology to create a better life, or how to understand the impact of emerging technologies on our lives, these podcasts will help you stay ahead of the curve. And the nominees are... Big Tech, Mon Carne, The Beta Kit Podcast, The Feed, The Great Indoors, and the winner is The Feed. I'm Amber Mack, and we are so honored to win the Outstanding Technology Series Award for The Feed. This weekly show, which also airs on SiriusXM Canada Talks, is a true team effort. A big thanks to my co-host, Michael Bancroft, and our producer, Aaron Papernick. Plus, a special shout out to the rest of the team at Amber Mack Media, including Chris, Jason, Krista, Jessica, and Jeff. Thanks for joining us every week on our podcast series to demystify technology. Thanks for voting for us. Presenting Outstanding Television and Film Series, Hilary Ass and Selena Vile. We're here to present an award for Outstanding Television and Film Series. That means we watch films and TVs and then we go podcast about it and you listen to it and act like you're with us talking about it. It's kind of meta, honestly. And the nominees are... Cut Scene. Ghost Facer. I hate it, but I love it. Tales from the Bridge. Talk from Superheroes. And the winner is... Oh, hey, look at that. We won. Look at us. We did it. Wow. Congrats to all the nominees. Thank you, Canadian Podcast Awards. Thank you to our wives and our listeners. Man, what an honor. Well, let's go hunting.
Presenting Outstanding True Crime Series, Mike Brown. Hi, I'm Mike Brown, creator and host of the Dark Poutine Podcast. In 2020, our show won this category, Outstanding True Crime Series. This year, I have the pleasure of announcing the nominees as well as the winner. And the nominees are... 13 Hours. Canadian True Crime. Captives. Island Crime. The Next Call. And the winner is Captives. Bonjour tout le monde, ici Annie et Michel du Balado Captive. On prend quelques minutes pour vous remercier du plus profond de notre cœur de cet honneur de remporter le prix du meilleur podcast True Crime au Canadian Podcast Awards. Un merci tout spécial évidemment à ceux qui ont voté pour nous, mais aussi à nos auditeurs qui prennent la peine d'écouter notre travail et qui nous partagent. Pour ça, merci infiniment. Et évidemment, mention super spéciale à Vincent Blain, sans qui ce balado n'existerait simplement pas. Effectivement. Donc, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Canadian Podcast Awards, and see you soon. Thank you! Presenting outstanding artwork for a series, Cat Angus. Podcast art. It's really what the people are here for. Not your personality, not your jokes, not your hard-hitting investigative journalism. They're really just coming here for the podcast art. And with that in mind, here are the nominees for outstanding artwork for a series. Oh, Valour. Fuck Buddies. Parkdale Haunt. The Town Whispers. The Walrus was Paul. And the winner is The Walrus was Paul. Well, hey, uh, thank you so much. It's so nice to be honored and recognized. This is my first foray into the podcasting world and to have any kind of recognition is just fantastic. It means a lot to me. Uh, full credit here has to go to the uh, wonderful woman, Jane Gowan, who's the artist who designed the artwork for the Walrus Was Paul podcast. And Jane's also a musician. She's been a guest in a couple of episodes of the Walrus Was Paul. So thanks, Jane. And thank you, you guys, for recognizing the great artwork. It means a lot to me. Thanks to our sponsors for making this possible. Astrolab Studios, CIUT 89.5 FM, Hindenburg, Lashinsky Design, PodCamp Toronto, and PodNews.net. Presenting outstanding main title theme music for a series, Kristen Zaza. The category of main title theme music is one near and dear to my heart, as I find that music can almost instantly be a unifying force to put a listener in the same space as the podcaster. These five podcasts are being recognized for their use of music to bring us into that space together. And the nominees are... Killed to Death... Quantum Kickflip. Relation Toxic. Talk from Superheroes. You Made Me Queer. And the winner is Relation Toxic. Bonjour, je m'appelle Philippe Coulombe compositeur de la musique de Relations toxiques, portrait d'une dépendance. Je suis extrêmement content d'avoir gagné meilleur thème musical pour une balado. Euh, J'aimerais remercier une équipe extraordinaire. Premièrement, merci à Marc-Olivier Laramé de Radio-Canada Audio. Merci à Marc Rémillard qui a fait le mix, à Sophie Guérin qui a fait le montage et au producteur-réalisateur 
Catherine Lavoie et Yannick Chapdelaine. Les amis, ça a été une expérience extraordinaire. Merci. Presenting outstanding original music and lyrics for a series, Kristen Zaza. Beethoven said, what I have in my heart and soul must find a way out. That's the reason for music. I'm honored to acknowledge the following podcasts for their use of original music and lyrics in their work. And the nominees are... Big Shiny Takes. Darts and Letters. Killed to Death. Relation Toxique. You Made Me Queer. And the winner is Relation Toxique. Bonjour, je m'appelle Philippe Coulombe, compositeur de la musique de la balado Relation Toxique, portrait d'une dépendance. Je suis extrêmement content d'avoir gagné Meilleure musique originale pour une balado. J'aimerais remercier une magnifique équipe, en commençant par Marc-Olivier Laramé de Radio-Canada Audio. Ensuite, merci à Marc Rémillard qui a fait le mix. Merci à Sophie Guérin qui a fait le montage. Et un gros merci à nos réalisateurs, producteurs, Yannick Chapdelaine et Catherine Lavoie. Les amis, ça a été une expérience extraordinaire. Merci. Presenting outstanding production for a series, Marissa Melnick. The award for outstanding production for a series is given to the show with the best overall production quality, spanning story, writing, editing, and sound mixing. This podcast is the complete package. And the nominees are... Believe It or Not. Ongoing History of New Music. Parkdale Haunt. Putting It Together. Talk from Superheroes. And the winner is Parkdale Haunt. Hi, I'm Alex Nerthel from Parkdale Haunt. Hi, I'm Ian Bodie from Parkdale Haunt. And we want to say a big thank you for uh, the Outstanding Production for a Series Award. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot to the team at Frequency and to everyone's worked on the show, including Emily Kellogg. And, uh, and yeah, this is great. Hey. And a big thanks to Ian for making it sound so good. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks to all the uh, listeners out there who made it possible. You're the best. Much appreciated. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Presenting the People's Choice Award, Jocelyn Getty. Hello, I'm Jocelyn from I Hate It But I Love It, presenting the People's Choice Award. This is open to the top nominated podcasts across all categories and will be awarded to the audience favorite as voted by you, the listeners. And the nominees are... Voleur, Believe It or Not, Bites and Bits, Fuck Buddies, Later That Same Life, Parkdale Haunt, Positively Positive Podcast, Putting it together. Teach me how to adult. You made me queer. And the winner is Parkdale Haunt. Hi, I'm Emily Kellogg from Parkdale Haunt. I'm Alex Nursall, also from Parkdale Haunt. 
And we are so, so, so excited to be accepting the People's Choice Award. We'd like to thank the people for thank choosing you. us. Thank you, people. <laughs> we love you, people. Also, big thanks to the team at Frequency for all of their support over the years. And a big thanks to Ian Bodie for being a part of our team and also making the show sound as amazing as it is. And also all of the cast and crew of Parkdale Haunt. We love you all. We love the people. And also huge, huge thanks to the Canadian Podcast Awards. Thanks so much for creating a space for us to celebrate Canadian podcasting. It's the best. It is the best. Thanks so much, everyone. Our goal is to bring the Canadian podcasting community together from coast to coast and to celebrate our unique voices. Canada's reputation as a hotbed for podcasting is growing. And the talent showcased here is evidence of that. Thank you all for being here tonight. And thank you for all of your hard work bringing your podcasts to the world. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, Astrolab, CIUT, Hindenburg, Lashinsky Design, and Pod News. Thank you for your support of the Canadian Podcast Awards and for helping make this event possible. Now, let's go listen to some more Canadian podcasts.